Good morning. Thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Um, Coach, before we get to questions from the media, your thoughts on last week's game against Colorado and the upcoming game against Appalachian State. Uh, well, I, I felt like uh, first Colorado, we played uh, we played a better ball game. Uh, we, we improved from week one to week two. Uh, we had a couple of objectives we wanted to get done, and, and one of them was uh, keep their offense off the field as much as we can, keep the ball as much as we could, and uh, we were able to do that with time of possession. Uh, I felt like we rushed the ball well. I felt like we, for the, for the most part, we stopped the run well. Uh, I think they had 41 attempts for 91 yards, 2.2. Uh, yard per carry average. Uh, so we did some things well there. Things we didn't do well, we didn't. Uh, we we, we did score. You know, take advantage of a couple of scoring opportunities that we had in the red zone. Uh, we turned the ball over twice, uh, and, and we gave up a, a, a kind of a freak play on the on a punt return that uh, we caused a fumble, but we had six guys miss a tackle, and uh, they scored on a punt return. So we have you know we got some things to clean up. I felt like we played better in the offensive line and defensive lines. Uh, so uh, uh, we, we gained some positives out of a loss, uh, and if, if you can do that, uh, we're excited about Appalachian State coming to, to San Marcos. Uh, you know, our conference, uh, one, you know, our, our co-champion of our conference last year. So uh, we've got a big challenge ahead of us. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions are from Brett Strela with Appalachian State Athletics. Brett, if you're there, you can go ahead. Yeah, sorry, okay. go ahead. Hey, Coach Satterfield, uh, before you a few minutes ago, said he thought that you guys were much improved from last year. Could you just kind of identify maybe some areas where you think you have made progress from last season? Well, uh, you know, I, I think we I think we have more talent than we had last year. We, we're a younger football team, but we're I think we're more talented, at, at, at especially the receiver position and the running back position. We're more talented there. Uh, I think we're we're a little bit bigger, stronger team than we were a year ago. Uh, even though we're younger in the offensive line, uh, uh, we are uh, we're, we're bigger and more stout there. Uh, and, and I feel like our kids are, are are obviously more. You know, two years into what you're trying to get done, I feel like our kids are are improving as far as uh, you know knowing what we expect in the standards in our in our culture. I guess just last one, how would you kind of assess how Damien has come, just kind of getting a late start and how he's looked so far uh, since he since he got back with you guys? Well, you know, he's done he's done well. Uh, you know, obviously when, when you don't uh, get all the training camp, uh, timing with the receivers are down, timing in the offense is, is, uh, is, is probably lacking. Uh, so I think he's getting a little bit better each week, getting a little bit more comfortable each week. Uh, you know, obviously he's played in, in college games before, so he understands. You know, good thing about Damian, Damian know has, you know, he knows has how to manage the clock and, and those type things. And and uh, we just got to get you know get him more reps. And you know, this these first few ball games are are, are you know evident of, of missing three weeks of, of training camp. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Our next questions will be from uh, Steve Bear with the Watauga Democrat. Hi, hey, Coach. Um, just uh, looking at your stats, it sounds like you're really starting to run the ball pretty well. Is that how you want to attack App State? You want to control kind of like what you did with Colorado? Well, our objective, you know, on offense is to be able to run the football uh, no matter no matter who we play. We, we have to be able to find a way to establish the run and, and – uh, you know that that's you know run the ball uh, relief game. That's that's everything. And uh, you know we feel like if we can run the ball, uh, then it it will open up other parts of our offense. So it's not necessarily a, a game plan strategy. It's kind of an overall overall philosophy. If we can find mm-hmm. ways to run the football, uh, that's what we want to do. And um, just kind of. Give me your take on App State, particularly their offense. Uh, they were able to throw the ball a little bit on Saturday, and they also prefer to establish the run if possible. Yeah, you know they've got they've got uh, you know very talented uh, skill guys, both at obviously at the running back position and at the wide receiver position. I really really uh, have a lot of admiration for way way to you know quarterback plays. Uh, very consistent. Uh, 
you know, I've, I've always been impressed, you know, since I've been in this league about, you know, how well they play up front in the offensive line. Uh, so, you know, we, we've we got to do a good job. We, you know, we always talk about let's let's stop the run first. Let's, let's try to make people one-dimensional and, and uh, make people have to beat you throwing the football. Uh, I think that was our plan last week, and I felt like we did a pretty good job of it. Um, so we're, we're going to continue that plan because App State's very talented. Um, any thoughts on their defense? Uh, seems like the linebacking is pretty strong for them, and their secondary yeah. has some experience. Yeah, yeah, very, very experienced in the secondary, very, very good and uh, and, and physical at linebacker. You know, the thing that I always notice when you know, the last few years I've watched uh, uh, Appalachian State play defense is how hard they play and how, how much effort they give on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, when you turn on the tape and you see 11 guys chasing the ball, no matter what the circumstance is, that's – that's what you. That's what you're striving for, and that's what they do a good job of. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you, Steve, and thank you, Coach Withers. Those are all the questions we have for today. We appreciate your time. No, nope, no question. Thank you.